at you like this. <laughs> oh, we all know that sound. That's eight-year-old Bryce demonstrating what it sounds like to have out-of-control allergies. Now, to help, he was getting some shots, but now he's trying a needle-free alternative. But is it right for you? In tonight's cover story, KITV's Betty Cross reports there are two reasons why some allergy doctors really aren't ready to replace a stick in the arm with a drop in the mouth. A gust of wind can blow your day. <coughs> All that pollen pollutes your nose, eyes, and throat. <coughs> Allergies to everything from ragweed to cedar can have you itching for relief. My eyes were always swollen. I was sneezing. Gail Wismar and her oldest son were miserable. They tried weekly injections. It became too much. So they replaced shots with drops. One squirt under the tongue. It tastes like, like a tiny drop of sugar water. It's a lot easier. That's because patients give themselves the drops at home. There's now an alternative. Dr. Jeffrey Hallett prescribes drops to about 40% of his allergy patients. If it's dosed appropriately, uh, the oral treatment is just as effective as the injections. Which isn't surprising, since drops and shots are made with the same products. They're prepared a little differently, but it is exactly the same product that we use for both forms of treatment. And by putting them under the tongue, the drops have fewer side effects and bad reactions. The risk with the injections is 1%. The risk for oral is 0.01%. It's a hundredfold safer. Safe, convenient, effective, but in medicine, we don't like to change things rapidly. And there are two reasons why. First, the drops are not FDA approved. The same product is approved for injections, but not to be put under your tongue. And without FDA approval, the drops are most likely not going to be covered by your insurance. Hey, Bryce, how are you? Despite the concerns. How are your allergy drops doing? Good. Patients like eight-year-old Bryce now use the drops at home and check in with the doctor twice a year. I feel really great. A big change from how this third grader was feeling last year. He used to make this awful noise in school, like But it was actually like this His teacher wasn't too happy, but now I rarely do it. We're glad he doesn't make that noise anymore. So let's talk cost. Texan Allergy says expect to pay in the ballpark of $60 a month for the drops. Good to see Bryce smiling, but we know the <laughs> FDA can move like a snail. Is this pie in the sky or are we going to see this soon? All right, two studies are underway right now, and they are saying they expect FDA approval maybe next year. Oh, that would be great. It would be great for you. I know you need it. Oh, yes, yeah, so the whole family. <laughs> a lot of people in Austin. Thanks, Betty. That was a great story.